today I want to talk about the possibility of future great ones. And before I jump into it, I want you guys to let me know down below if this is something that you enjoy. If you enjoy this video, if you want to see more of these, I will turn it into a series and I will do a whole bunch more talking about other species that I would like to see as future great ones. The great one lion. Now I have made a video talking about the possibility of a great one lion in the past, but that was quite a while ago and some things have changed since then. So I want to do uh, an updated kind of version of this video and talk a little bit more about what I would like to see if we did get a great one lion. The great one lion for me is the ultimate great one, the king of the jungle for Haga Savanna is one of the most, if not the most popular map in the game. A lot of people would love to see a great one over on Verhaga Savanna. And I think that the lion is the obvious choice if they are going to do that. Now, of course, Verhaga Savanna is not a base map. And as we all know, up until now, all of the great ones that have been released have been off of the two base maps. This is because EW says that they don't want to put the great ones behind a firewall. But I think as we get uh, more and more into all the great ones, right, we're going to run out of certain species that we can do. And it's going to get narrowed down to the point where I think some of the great ones that are going to be released, if we keep doing base maps only, aren't going to be super exciting, right? After, you know, if we get a black tail and then a Roosevelt elk, if the more exciting species come out, then we're kind of left with, you know, wild boar, coyote, red fox. I just think this game has so much potential beyond that for future great ones. Things like a lion, a wolf, the cave buffalo. A lot of people would love to see water buffalo. And then what about, you know, Emerald Coast species, crocodile, kangaroo. People would love to see an alligator. There's a lot of really cool species. I would say the coolest species in the game are probably not on the two base maps. So one way I think that they could do this if they don't want to put them behind a paywall. Fair enough. I think it would be worth it to, you know, release a great one line, release something that's not on a base map, and then just put that map, the DLC for that map on sale for a month or two after the release of that new great one. So, you know, release the great one line and then put for Haga Savannah at half off or something in the DLC store. And I think that that would be totally worth it just based off the amount of hype that such a cool great one would generate to begin with. My assumption for the next great one is that it will be a non antlered species. I think they will either do another predator uh, like they did with the black bear. I think it could be a second predator or I think it could be some smaller game, maybe like a coyote or red fox or wild boar. I think it could also be a Euro bison. And that's of course, if they decide to stay with the base map only great ones. My hope is that they decide to go outside of that box, outside of the base map great ones only. And I do hope that they decide to do another predator for the next great one. I am hoping for either a great one lion or a great one a gray wolf. Now you guys might remember from my last video that I talked about the possibility of a great one lion in, I kind of specifically centered it around the cape lion. So the cape lion was a subspecies of lion that went extinct in the mid 1800s. So not very long ago, these lions had big black manes. Uh, the edges of their ears were, were tipped with black fur. They looked really cool and they were quite a bit bigger than the African lions that we're familiar with today. So I thought that, you know, if they do the great one lion, it's probably going to be similar. I would imagine to like what they did with the black bear and the moose and the fallow with the different variations, right? The different fur variations, five or six of them. I think it would be really cool if one of the variations for a great one lion was the cape lion. And then for the other variations, I haven't quite decided if I wish that they would, you know, do like the whole fantasy thing, go the fantastical route like they did with the, you know, the moose and the fallow and the black bears as well, and just do some really artistic kind of out there kind of fur variations. Or if I would want them to try to keep it, you know, more realistic, maybe a little bit of a mix of both. Maybe one that's got, you know, scarred up, it's bigger, it's got bigger fangs, maybe it's got red eyes and, and that sort of thing. And then maybe they do go kind of the fantasy route. I would kind of love to see like a lion with like a big colorful mane, maybe some tribal markings on its face, that sort of thing. Maybe incorporate some elements into some of them, like some fire or water kind of thing. Like they go pretty far out there with the with like kind of the fantasy designs that they've done, especially for like the black bear and the moose, but also for the fallow deer. For all three of them, really, they've kind of gone out there. They did the Irish elk for a fallow deer. Like that's pretty wild. The possibilities for a great one lion, I think would be awesome. I think it would be such an awesome grind. It's literally, it's it's got to be my number one pick for the next great one. Now, the thing about a great one lion is the lions are currently only on one map, and it's pretty clear that EW likes to have animals that are on more than one map if they are going to do a great one, which I definitely agree with. And of course, that would mean that we would need to get Africa 2.0 in order to get a great one lion if it needs to be on two maps. And how cool would that be? Imagine Africa 2.0 coming out with a great one lion. I think that would just be so huge. I don't think there's any reason to not do that just because it's not on a base map. Like I said, put Verhaga 
Savannah on sale in the DLC store, put it 50% off for the first month or something like that. I don't think there would be any problem with doing that. The amount of hype generated around something like a Great One Lion, it would just be off the charts. Now, when it comes to the conversation of the Great Ones, as a lot of you guys know, I'm not a big fan of how the respawns work, how the grinding in and of itself works in the game. I feel like as we get more and more Great Ones, the, you know, the way that we're managing the herds and that, that whole system is just getting more and more refined to the point where people are being able to spawn these things just way too quick and it just becomes old i think with the fallow after a couple weeks people were already starting to say that they were losing interest there were people that already had 10 of them that sort of thing so what i would really like to see is maybe a system change some kind of way to make it so that the respawns are just totally random maybe change the need zones up a little bit maybe make it so that the animals can go to maybe one of five different zones so that they're not always at the exact same place that would really mix up the whole grinding thing too and change things up make it a little bit more complicated right now it's very bare bones it's very black and white the way that you grind you know that every single animal belongs to one specific zone you know exactly where that animal is going to be during its drink time so maybe they change that up a little bit maybe an animal has the chance of going to three or four different zones maybe the herds don't necessarily always stick together maybe they move around a little bit the respawns could be completely random rather than the map feeling like it has to you know balance itself out if you leave all the small ones you know then all then the map is going to make bigger ones maybe we can change that up a little bit i do really hope that ew will take that into consideration in the future and change things up so that we don't get to a point where these great ones are spawning literally every day or a couple times a day because let's be honest these things are so special we love them so much because they're rare the value that they hold to us the excitement that we get out of them has a lot to do with how rare they are and the fact that they don't happen every day or every week so hopefully we can keep it that way and we can uh, keep these things being as special as they've always been my second choice right now for a great one and this is probably a little bit of foreshadowing to a future video like I said if you guys like these videos if you want me to do more of these kind of speculating talking about the possibility of certain great ones and what I would like to see done with them let me know down below and I'll do more but my second choice right now lion is my top choice my second one because I do want another predator I would love to see a wolf gray wolf or Iberian I would rather see a gray wolf just because of the maps that they're on I think a gray wolf uh, great one would just be so so good it could be like a dire wolf um, lots of things that I could say about the the possibility of a great one gray wolf and I will do that in a future video if that's something that you guys want to see but right now my number one choice is the lion and it makes sense because my number one choice for a new map is another africa map so that would just work so perfectly africa 2.0 put lions on both africa maps a lion great one i don't know what could be better if there's something that you guys think would be even cooler than that let me know down below in the comments what do you guys want to see for the next great one or the next great ones how do you feel about great ones not being on base maps let me know down below for all we know the devs might be watching they might look down below and read your comments and stuff so let me know down below what you guys think about great ones what do you want to see next what do you want to see in the future thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please don't forget to drop a like on the video it helps so much with the algorithm subscribe to the channel we're on the road to 100,000 subscribers thanks for watching everybody and as always i will see you guys in the next one